I love you. You're so very sweet. Hi, Athene. <laughs> She's like, can you please look at me? I was here the entire time before my brother got you. Hi. I just hope that you have the easiest delivery ever, okay? He's like, look at my nice color that my grandma got me. I'm a little kitty. No, you're not kitty, you're a booty. Mm, you're so sweet. Oh, here. <laughs> There's something here. Is this, <laughs> is this a home? What is that? You can feel it too, huh? She, she loves when I do this. So she starts to go like that in circles with her head. Look. <laughs> when I do this, she does that. Look. <laughs> watching a post in one of those goat groups and there was this idea of attaching like a plastic it's not that deep it's like a little bit more shallow I'm wondering if this girl is gonna eat oh Clara every afternoon you look pregnant again anyways I thought that was a cool idea it's just um, bungee and a container and then you put there the food and yeah they still waste because it falls and sometimes they eat it sometimes they don't look at this but i thought it was so neat so i can get them out of the house when i need to clean it so they're eating outside they're making a mess outside and i can clean the inside of the house look at this mess this is a mess look so Brie wants to be with Annabelle and Gaia too. Annabelle doesn't want to be with them, so she fights them. And here he comes, trying to fight the little girl. So you're such a sweet boy. Why are you fighting with the girlies? Oh, you and your biting. You and your biting. Hi. Are you in heat? Or just being loud? Hmm? Don't fight that sweet boy! Don't fight with him! He's a little baby! Here comes Clara. Not interested in her boy. She's just interested in getting out. You're not going out. not time to go to bed not yet go and eat outside yeah you're fine it's fine life will go on that was much better now for the other news <laughs> those girls I am gonna take them to be shown in um, the summer in one of our local shows local not local it's it's pretty far away from us but still here in Oregon so I'm gonna be taking the twins who by then are gonna be dry yearlings but I really want to see how they get evaluated what things are missing what things are right and you know that kind of uh, thing that really could be very obvious to other people and not so much to me even though I've been doing my research I think it's very important to get all these things from a professional so I am going to be taking them for sure I am just waiting on the registration papers something happened things got lost it was, to be honest, I just got the registration in my name from Clara, Annabelle, and Mocha. I still don't have in my hand the registration of Rocky. Um, I'm assuming they processed that differently because he was first time registered, so I don't know if it's a different department or what the deal is. But what I can tell you is that 
I'm going to register the girls. Hopefully I can do it online and I don't have to send anything else. So that way I can have a duplicate for the show once uh, we go this summer. And I'm really super excited about going. I am sure that I will find a way to stress out about it because, you know, traveling with goats, especially, I think it's about three, four hours from us, it's gonna be an interesting thing. And I think that's why I only want to take these two girls that I think have some of the best traits from their mom and also from the dad line. So it's, it's, I am very, very, very excited. I want to shave them. They are full of hay and straw from the winter. But since it's been raining so much, I can't really bring myself to shave them completely. But it's something definitely that needs to happen because they're, if you look inside, I mean, you can kind of see it. Let me show you. You can kind of see it over there. She has a lot of hay inside and kind of closer to her skin. This is Bree Bree. I always say that she has a little white hat because her pole is bigger than Gaia's. She was tiny when she was born compared to her sister who was a monster. And um, I'm just really excited to take them both. I am very proud of them. They are such good little goats. They are not the kind of goat to put on weight a lot. They stay pretty slim even though, you know, they, they, they are kind of part of the herd now and uh, not having to fight for their food anymore. They're not, you know, they don't put a lot of weight. They're very delicate in their structure and I really want them to be evaluated for their body structure. I really love, she, she loves when I do this so she starts to go like that in circles with her head, look. <laughs> when I do this, she does that, look. <laughs> Anyways, she only does that when I am petting her chest and kind of rubbing it and then she starts going in circles with her head. Hi, Mr. Blackie. Hi, my lowly. Did you get your fair share of hay? Okay, that's a good thing, right? The boys are getting a bath too. Look at that. These boys need a good, good bath. And now all this is dead hair and he's looking like very sad right now because of this dead hair that I can pull very easily. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to give the boys a bath and I bought a finer comb so I can try to get all this little buffy things out. It's okay, she's not gonna do anything to you, my boy. And as you can see, all this just needs to come off. And I think that most of the hay is getting stuck to the little fluffies that they had for winter. When he was born, he didn't have it, but then it got cold and then he started growing these fluffies. So we're gonna do a before and after bath and we'll see how much we can get this off of him. But if you can see, you can pull it out. We got them these tiny colors that I leave on that are kitty colors. I didn't realize that they were the breakaway kind of thing, break off kind of thing. He's modeling it for you. He's like, look at my nice color that my grandma got me. I'm a little kitty. No, you're not kitty, you're a goldie. Mm, you're so sweet. I love you, little blocky child. Well, guys, starting to develop a bigger adder, but it only makes sense. She is, what, 10 days away from kidding date? But. She needs a really good clip. Uh, it's just getting one. The one thing I've noticed is that this time she's a little bit more swollen in her lady parts, but everything looks normal. She's 
she is very very wide uh, but I don't well she's also a lot more deep this year she's steep and wide so there's a chance that there's more than two I want to guess that there's only two in there May possibly three I don't think there's more than three or I want to think that there's no more than three <laughs> what do you guys think about your mom being pregnant you guys never seen your mom pregnant before huh yeah. never seen mama being pregnant I get feeling me mommy get feeling me mommy I know She's like, what are you saying? <laughs> you sound very crazy right now. Well, you are not sucking on my finger. We were talking about you. That you're so pretty. And that your children like to suck on my finger, which is not a good thing. Hi, Gaia. Hi. You better be so big. They're all losing their winter hair. They were losing it. At the time that we hit colder temperatures and now they are looking a mess um, Gaia over there I don't like it's like coarse and but it's all falling mm -hmm. they look very very healthy otherwise but this part of the year when they're losing the hair I just I wish I could shave them but we're not out of the colder temperatures yet so I don't think I'm gonna do that can I feel your children over here Oh, let's see. Hi, babies. Good morning. Good morning. Sometimes I have to find this button. And this is closer to the outer. Good morning. I don't know. This pregnancy. Oh, here. <laughs> There's something here. Is this, <laughs> is this a hope? What is that? You can feel it too, huh? I'm just hoping and that she has some things for your kisses, Gaia. You're you're the sweetest kisser in the world. <laughs> Gaia is my kisser. Brie loves to bite me. <laughs> the, and any chance she has, she'll try to bite me. But... <sighs> I just hope that you have the easiest delivery ever, okay? Mocha? So those children need to be in perfect position, okay? I got some tums for you, even though out of um, the three, Annabelle, Mocha, and Clara, Mocha being a first freshener, she, I think she started showing a little bit of contractions. I kept her in this pen, which I'm gonna fix for her this time, and um, she, I think, she had only like four hours of labor, if I'm not mistaken, from when I started to see contractions until she delivered the girls. So she was the one that had the babies the quickest. Granted, I, I see a say labor, but uh, she lost her ligaments. She's so sweet. She lost her ligaments the the night before, like. I think it was, I came to check on her at 3 a.m. and she didn't have any ligaments. 